Hi, my name is Bruce Kilmer. I'm the project superintendent with Hunter Roberts. Here we are at Franklin Field with the new athletic facility. Uh, as you can see, we're in the process with the new structure uh, for the athletic facility. We're in the process of doing the footings and foundation. Uh, the beginning of next week, we'll do the slab morph, uh, which will be part of the new athletic facility on the ground floor. We will be, we're looking for a completion of spring of 2010. We are just really basically in the beginning phases. Uh, we'll be rolling into the fit out in another couple weeks uh, with structural steel starting next week. All right, we're here on the, the campus at Penn in Philadelphia. People think that Penn is downtown, and when in fact, if you look up in the back, you can see the skyline. We are not downtown, correct? That's correct. Okay. We're right in West Philly. West Philly. West Philly. All right. What are we going to do here? What, what, what are we going to see here uh, athletically? What ground, what level are we on right now, the facility? We're on the upper level here. This is for the, the students. It will be a new training center. Uh, and the athletics, it will actually be down on the ground floor, which as you can see, they're putting the wire mesh down, getting ready to pour that slab on the grade at the beginning of next week. Okay, and will it go out into there, or will that just be future uh, that space will all to be, be developed? Tie into the new campus green that they're looking at doing. Okay, and then there's a middle level as well. I can see the beam right here to it. Yes, there's actually a beam that right there. That will be the concourse level. Concourse level, and that will be a level that will be available to uh, to regular students to, for exercise and whatever else they're doing. Correct. That is correct. Okay, so basically, with these older buildings, what's uh, kind of a problem? That's not really a problem, but. What is an obstacle you run into with these older buildings? All over the years, all the existing utilities that got moved around and weren't documented, uh, the existing foundations, uh, where they were placed, and we had to work around. We had an existing wall that we had to excavate behind to move the, make usable space that was underneath the old ramps for the old Franklin Field. Why do you have to utilize, you said it's a usable space. Why is usable space a problem with an older building? because it wasn't designed originally to be used that way and now to create more uh, space for athletics they decide to excavate and move it back for more square footage for the athletic department. Are you allowed to touch any of the original architecture of a lot of these buildings and the facade on the outside? Are you allowed to touch any of that? Yes, we, we do come in contact with the new curtain wall and stuff like that but we got to try to restore it and keep it in it as much as possible. For historical marker yes, and for purposes. historical reasons. Okay, so this is going to span the length. If I can step back here. We don't want to step over there or go in the hole, but uh, it's going to go the length of Franklin Stadium, correct? Wow. Roughly, do you have the, uh, how many square foot is this going to provide? This will be approximately 45, 46,000 square feet. Of all athletic? Yes. All right. And will the bottom floor, will that be above ground for the athletes or will that be below ground? That will be below ground. And one of the neat features they have here, they have a product called Circle Redmond. What it is is glass blocks that will allow light from the outside to filter down into the space. So it will feel like you're outside. How much of an upgrade uh, is this roughly, um, estimation-wise? How much money are, is the university putting back into athletics here? Uh, I don't know what that is right now. Okay, you guys got that? You got that figure? Any fax figures? Looks like a whole bunch. Okay, you guys got anything other, any other interesting facts? Uh, what this is going to provide for the student athlete here? Well, one of the new features here, right over here, if you pan over to look at the opening that we had to cut the slab. What this is, this space here is for is the new stairs that are going to go up from the lower level up to this level, and also to the left, the pit that you see there is for the new elevator will be accessible to the handicap and to the students to move equipment and access to the golf course. All right, well, I'm going to get a shot of the skyline here. Hey, thank you for the time. Thank you. And uh, pleasure. Yeah, and uh, this is a, I can't wait to come back and see what it's going to look like. Right, Coach Eider? Yeah. All right, well, we'll be back here to check it out, hopefully uh, by 2010.